guys, Kim here with Fugatag, and here with me I have a phone with a very interesting look. Of course this is the Xiaomi Mi 8 Pro, but not the normal one. This is the Explorer Edition with a transparent titanium back. But first, if you're enjoying the content, be sure to drop a like, subscribe, hit the bell icon and show me some love in the comments down below. Without any further ado, let's jump into it. So looking at this box, we already know it's a Xiaomi flagship phone since we have a gold and black aesthetic going on. Removing the lid, first we have a smaller black box inside of which we find the Type-C headphone jack dongle, the SIM ejector tool, a clear case, and some documentation. Then of course we have the phone itself and under it are the Type-C cable and charger. Now let's remove the plastic from the Mi 8 Pro and let's see what's it got. And wow, okay, I've seen this transparent back in pictures and videos on the internet, but guys, trust me, it looks even cooler in person. But anyway, let's get back to it later. Let's talk about the rest of the body first. So what we're getting here with the Mi 8 Pro is the phone that doesn't look too different from the Mi 8. We still have this premium build quality, but with a huge notch. Up front, we have a 6.21 inch AMOLED display made by Samsung that again has a rectangular notch that kind of reminds me of the one on last year's iPhone X. Despite its size, it only contains the earpiece and front facing camera, which I find kind of odd. The display is very nice though. It's a very high quality AMOLED panel that provides great vibrant colors, deep blacks, and it's pretty bright even for outdoor use. And to add the Mi 8 Pro packs an in-display fingerprint scanner that actually isn't that bad at all. It's faster than what we're used to. It's still not as fast as a traditional rear-mounted scanner, but it's a lot faster than the one on the Vivo V11. It seems to use the same type of optical technology though, so it's either the work of a newer sensor or faster processing thanks to the Snapdragon 845. Anyway, moving on, we have the dual SIM tray on the left. Sorry guys, no microSD support here. And on the right, we have the volume buttons and the power button that comes in a shiny metallic red color, which I'm super into. We also get the same treatment with a Type-C port at the bottom. Also at the bottom, we have the microphone and the loudspeaker. Speaking of the speaker, we really do think that the huge notch should have housed the front-facing speaker because of how big it is. Alright, now let's talk about the back panel. Oh boy, is it cool. So we have this clear but tinted surface that shows us what's inside the phone. Well, based on Jerry Rig Everything's teardown video, this circuit board and carbon fiber battery aren't exactly real. This circuit board part is just a plastic model that covers the real circuit board. And the carbon fiber is just a sticker that covers the actual battery. But come on guys, I don't expect you to care whether it's real or not either. It still looks amazing, and it's refreshing to see this type of design in a world of phones where glossy glass is the current trend. The only components we have mounted to the back are the dual 12 megapixel rear cameras. One of them is a normal wide angle lens, while the other is telephoto. And coming from someone like me who's an iPhone 10 user, I can appreciate this type of setup over a depth oriented one. Telephoto lens? Underrated if you ask me. Up front, we have a 20 megapixel front facing camera. These cameras are enabled by Xiaomi's really impressive AI camera software that over the past year we've seen produce some great images. Powering the Mi 8 Pro is a Snapdragon 845 CPU, Adreno 630 GPU, 8GB of RAM, and 128GB of UFS internal storage. This makes it just as powerful as most other flagship phones on the market. So it's definitely no slouch in gaming or general performance. Rounding out the internal specs is a 3000 mAh battery that supports Qualcomm Quick Charge 4. For software, we have Android 8.1 Oreo skinned with MIUI 9.6 Global. This means that we do get the Google Play Store. It's gonna be very familiar for those who've used Xiaomi phones before. I only wish it was already running Android Pie, but it's not really super clear when MIUI 10 is rolling out to this phone. In the Philippines, this unit with a transparent titanium finish costs 32,990 pesos, which is actually a pretty good price for a phone of this caliber. Alright guys, that's about it for the Xiaomi Mi 8 Pro. What do you think about the transparent back? Is it cool or what? For me it is. Leave a comment down below and tell me what you think. 
And if you like this video, of course, you know where that thumbs up button is. Consider subscribing to our YouTube channel for more content. Don't forget to hit that bell icon to be notified of our future uploads. And be sure to visit yugatech.com for latest tech news and reviews. Once again, this is Kim, and I hope to see you in the next one. Bye!